And welcome back to the Grand Turismo Online League. It is time for the Champion Series to head out west to Laguna Seca for a little Porsche Cup action here. Now it is getting down to the nitty gritty only. This is the last race before the championship race. One last shot for these drivers to get a good points advantage heading into the championship race as you see them crashing while they're practicing on the racetrack. Uh, let's take a look at the points battle real quick. It is tight throughout the top three. So Javen Tucker still the current points leader, but he only has a 10-point advantage over David Pinkston and only a 23-point advantage over Trevor Levine. And Trevor Levine is one of the best at this racetrack. He has never lost a GTO sanctioned event here. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can continue that streak and Pinkston put it on the pole. So we are definitely going to have a points battle here tonight. The pressure is on. Who can perform the best? Who can get the most points heading into Blue Moon in the next couple of weeks? So without further ado, let's take a gander at the starting lineup at the right-hand side of your screen. David Pinkston knocked off the pole position here tonight. He gets a bonus point for that. Jack McKevitt is going to roll off P2, P3 with the current points leader, Javen Tucker in the 99 car. P4 will be Slinky. Looks like he's got a pretty good starting spot this race. Entering the see if he can actually get his first top five of the season after not doing too well. Uh, P5 will be Gavin Morrison after uh, an exhilarating win last week. Was able to get through the, the wreck in the last couple turns and win it on the final lap. Uh, P6 will be Board Word, and thank you for hosting the lobby again. Um, P7 will be Trevor Levine. Never lost a race here at this racetrack. P8 will be Colin McKevitt. P9 will be the driver of the day, Isaiah Smith. 10th will be Peter Braxton. Thank you for racing with us, Peter. 11th will be Dante Corrado. Thank you for rushing home from work to race with us here again. But, man, let's go to the dry, some driver interviews real quick. Let's talk to tonight's pole sitter. Let's talk to David Pinkston. Uh, hey, what's up, David? You got us? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, so you're heading in here. You're only 10 points back from uh, Javen Tucker, and you got the pole position. So how are you feeling about your point situation with this being the last race before the championship, and how are you feeling about the race tonight? I uh, just need to knock off a few points uh, to try and close in. I feel like I can do that here today. Um, and, yeah. Well, good luck for you. Look fast out there. Uh, let's talk to the second place starter. Uh, let's talk to, uh, let's see if we can dial up uh, Jack McKevitt. Let's see if we can find him here. Uh, what's up, Jack? You got us rolling off P2 here tonight. How you feeling? Good. That's good. Um, so you already got two wins this season. Um, how you feeling about your chances here tonight? Great. That's good. Congratulations. I hope you have a great race. Let's talk to the third place starting position of the current points leader, Javen Tucker. Uh, what's up, Javen? You're rolling off uh, P3 here tonight. Got a good starting spot. Still looking for that first win this season, though, but you got the points lead. So how are you feeling being only 10 points up on second place with this being the last race before the championship? I am malnourished. So uh, what do you think about the race tonight? You feel like you got a pretty fast car? I'm hungry. Well, do you have any red meat? Well, you can get all the red meat you want after the race. So, how are you feeling after the, during this race? How are you feeling? Hungry. Alrighty. Well, hopefully you'll have a good race here tonight. That's it for uh, driver's interviews. So let's uh, go trackside to get this thing underway. 25 laps to settle it or settle it here in Laguna Seca. Let's get this thing going. Charge been practicing for a while now. Got 11. Some of the best ready to go at it here. One turn's going to be... Going to have to keep an eye out on the corkscrew. One of the most difficult turns on the racetrack. It's very interesting to see how these drivers handle it. Here they are. The cars are gridded. We are ready to drop the green flag. Race 11 out of 12 of the points paying season. David Pinkston. Jack McKevitt. Javen Tucker. Ike Clockman. Gavin Morrison. Board Wharton. Trevor Levine. Colin McKevitt, your top eight. And the green flag is out. We are Porsche Cup racing in California. Here they come, thundering down to the turn one, two, almost three wide cars spinning out, trying to make a move. Here they come, diving down into the turn. Ooh, a big moment at the back. There's a car off. Massive contact. Trevor Levine, the third place points car, gets spun out. He's off of the racetrack. Jack McKevin and Nito Nito break away. Slinky gets tagged from behind by David Pinkston. We got a lot of cars heading off of the racing service. Big clouds of dust. His cars are scattering all over the place. 
Not a good start for David Pinks. He fell back a third, now in the clutches. But we have a side-by-side -side battle for the lead. David Tucker already trying to thunder to the front here at Laguna Seca. It's a single file now. Javen Tucker trying to make a move here for this lead battle. Trying to take the lead out. We got a lot of cars slipping and sliding. Here they come into the course through this really, really hard downhill turn. This downhill S, really, really hard to get it right. Ooh, Pinkston goes in the gravel a little bit off of that one. Tucker slopes back a little bit from Jack McKevitt. Jack McKevitt able to pull away a little bit there. Now these guys trying to settle back in the spot. These two, these guys do have to make one mandatory pit stop, at least one pit stop per Porsche Cup rules. So it's be interesting to see how that strategy comes into play here tonight. Here they come across the stripe. Jack McKevitt will be lead at lap number one. Javen Tucker close behind. And David Peason is on the hunt trying to run back down that number 99 machine. Got a battle. Ooh, David Tucker, big loose moment. That's going to allow Pinkston to get a good run out of him. Here he come all over the rear end of the number 99 Elf car. Can Pinkston get a run here? 25 laps, a very, very long race here. So a lot of time for these drivers to settle in. Ooh, Tucker, a little dip in a tire off into the dirt there. It's going to hurt him a little bit at the uphill acceleration. Still holding on to that gap, that car length gap he held. Maybe even stretching it out a little bit. And they come into the corkscrew, battling hard for P2. Pinks it with an excellent entry. Who can get the better exit, though? Looks like Pinks it with a huge run downhill. Pinks it trying to make a loop. Gets on the sausage curve, loses himself up. Got some wheel spin though. Here he's under attack now from Board Wharton and the number 22 Caterpillar fracking machine. Here comes Slinky trying to make a move on him. Braxton almost went around in that first turn. Oh, someone way off the racing surface. I'm not sure who that was. Jack McKevitt trying to pull away the best he can. Tucker still able to keep within reach so far. This guy's slipping and sliding these cars around here, trying to battle the grip. Take a look with the bottom left hand screen. You can see the tire wear rate and the fuel wear rate. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Slipping and sliding off of that final hairpin turn. Down the front straightaway. Board work now under pressure from Colin McKevitt going down in the turn one. Board's going to take it down to the inside, trying to make a move. Will McKevitt try the crossover? Yes, he does. Now side by side with the number 22. Ooh, he pushes him off. They're side by side in his place. You don't want to be side by side. Ooh, contact between him and Corrado. Not a good race so far for Trevor Levine. He's normally unstoppable here. Hopefully he'll be able to get that thing back to going. Starting to spread out throughout the top couple cars now. But here comes David Tucker at a monster corkscrew just now. 
Jack McKevitt had a little slip up, and David Pinkston did too. So both of these top three, all three of them, now starting to get bunched back up here as they come through the final section of this racetrack. Trying to get the power down. Fish tailing off of the final turn. Here they come across the stripe. Jack McKellar is going to lead all four of the first five laps. David Pinkson currently has the fast lap on the racetrack with his last one this last time by. Looks like Javen Tucker is starting to catch the Jack McKevitt machine. He is closing in. Very, very close. Here comes Tucker. Tucker off the racetrack. Able to get it back on. Able to hang on to it just now. Tucker, big moment there. That backed him and Pinkston up. Here comes Pinkston. He looks to the left side of Tucker. It's a head up the kill. Tucker going to give that position away. Now Tucker dives back to the left side. Still side by side. Tucker able to clear him going up the hill. These two battling tight for points. Tucker trying to get a handle on it. Here comes Pinkston back yet again. Still side by side. Pinkston clears him heading into the corkscrew. Who can have a better corkscrew? Looks like David Pinkston did an excellent job slipping past Javen Tucker just now. Excellent battle between those two. Looks like Slinky is starting to work his way toward the front. He's been in the need of a good race. Has not quite had the season he's wanted so far. Trevor Levine has moved his way back up at the P7. So good recovery by him so far. Able to pick up a couple spots. Ooh, Slinky almost lost it down there. Turn one got a big loose moment. A lot of cars slipping and sliding now. Looks like David Pinkston might have a shot here at the Jack McKevitt machine here coming soon. Top three starting to bunch back up. We got a battle going on for fourth place too. Dante Corrado and the Haribo Gold Bear machine has gained on Slinky in that P4 position. But we got a three car battle now for the lead. They come into the corkscrew. Play one of the most important turns on the racetrack. Not the best entry for Jack McKevitt. Who can get the best exit? Pinkston trying to widen it up. Purple sector by him. This guy's slipping and sliding their way down the hill. You want to avoid those sausage curves. That's one of the hardest spots about this racetrack is those sausage curves. If you hit them, it's definitely going to upset the car. Ooh, Tucker tried to stick a nose in there. Almost made some contact there with David Pinkston. The battle is on for P2 between your two points leaders. This battle right here could have serious championship implications. Ooh, Pinkston messed up the entry. So did Jack McKevitt. Javen Tucker able to slip past Pinkston there for that second place spot. Pinkston not giving up so soon, though. He's right back to the bumper of the 99 car. Still knows the tail. Jack McKevin went off track. Here comes Javon Tucker for the lead in Laguna Seca. Ooh, Tucker going to pitch him in. Tucker gets tagged. He gets loose. Tucker is going to go around. He's off the racetrack. Javon Tucker was going for the lead. Got tagged in the corner panel. Huge, huge issues for the championship leader. Jack McKevin's going to take back the lead. And David Pace is going to move up. Javon Tucker drops all the way back to P6. This is not what Javon Tucker needed to happen. Not a good break. Still a lot of racing left. Some time for him to recover. But the... David Pinkston is loving this. This is what he needs to try to gain a good points cushion going into the Blue Moon. You never know what's going to happen at Blue Moon. This is a good race to set yourself up to win a GTO title. This allows, look at Slinky. Slinky moved his way up the P3, but here comes Dante Corrado. He started dead last. He's all the way up to P4. What a first seven laps. Yes, blow the horn all you want. That is something to celebrate. That 73 car is fast. 
Trevor Levine back up in the top five as well. He needs to finish ahead of Javen Tucker if he wants to stay in the hunt come Blue Moon. Javen Tucker trying to recover all the time he can. Still a lot of racing left, not even to the halfway point. David Pinkston now starting to gain some time on Jack McKevitt. They're going to go at it yet again for the lead. Slinky trying to join the party. Dave Pinkston has him within his sights. Now taking a look from backwards from the rear bumper of the Jack McKevitt machine. Those cars getting airborne. Slinky huge moment coming down the hill. Got really loose. Oh, Jack McKevitt's going to slip way wide. Here goes Pinkston. Side by side battle for the lead coming into the final section of the racetrack. Dave Pink's going to drop back, trying to get a good run in the hairpin. Magic Slinky with a huge run. Now a four or five car battle for the lead here on lap eight. Pinkston trying to gain some time, trying to get a good run to have a shot to open up a good pass. Pinkston going to be through. Oh, Pinkston, huge moment. He's going to slip out wide. He's going to give up two, almost, almost two spots there. He's going to drop back to third spot. Man, he's locked at the brakes going into turn one. Almost spun it. Was able to save it, though. Tucker trying to gain some time back there. Trevor Levine, he dipped the tire off there for a second or two. And Slinky has cleared... David Pinkston for that second place spot. Slinky going to try his best to track down the leader of Jack McKevitt. Can he do it? Here they come down through the corkscrew yet again. Trevor Levine now has the fastest lap on the racetrack. Now the front straight away they go. Complete lap 10. About 13 minutes in this race, lap 10 down. Pinkston trying to make a move. Pinkston having some troubles with that first turn. Trevor Levine, or Trevor Levine starting to gain some time back after that early off track excursion. David Tucker recovering well. Way off the track goes Slinky there. The downhill section, that's going to cause him to lose a spot there. Pinks it back up to P2. Trevor Levine able to gain a lot of time. He's back within distance of these lead pack now. But here comes Javen Tucker as well. Excellent recovery by him. Three-car battle from second back to fourth. It's a head down on the turn one. That double apex corner. Ooh, Pinkston locked up the brakes yet again. That's going to allow Slinky to slip past him. Ooh, little side-by-side -side action. This has allowed for Jack McKevitt to gain almost a three-second advantage over the latter half of the top five because these guys are battling so hard back here. Here 
Here they come in the course crew. Who's going to try to make a move? Picks and everyone ever able to keep it pretty tidy so far. Triple the bind knows it is go time. He sees that 99 car starting to grow a little bigger in his rearview mirror. Beginning. Ooh, Trevor the Slinky actually dives in the pit lane. He's the first one to make his mandatory pit stop this race. It's going to be interesting to see how that strategy plays out. Will that play in Slinky's favor? More fresh tires for that number 26 machine of Slinky. He's going to head off pit road. Just got enough gas to make it to the end. How will this help him? E3 starting the track down that leader. Pinkson doing a good job of that. But here comes Dante Corrado. Excellent drive by him. All the way up inside the podium now. At their starting dead last, he has gained a lot of spots. Oh, and as we say that, he locked up the brakes entering the corkscrew. That's going to allow oh, an excellent run off the turn from Trevor Levine. Levine trying to stick a nose in there. We are now past the halfway point. Here comes Dante Corrado. He's going to duck it on the pit lane this time by. Ooh, McKevin almost spins into turn one. That's going to allow for David Pinkston to gain a great amount of time. And we're side by side for Pete three as well here comes Jamie Tucker trying to fight side by side two battles to watch here first and second third and fourth both going at it well fine able to gain some time here but take a look back at the lead battle Jack McKenna slipping and sliding up is the hill here comes David Pinkston right on his rear bumper as you take a look close behind, Tucker still able to stay just within touching distance of Trevor Levine. They come into the corkscrew. Important, important, important to be good here. And there it is, a little slip up from Jack McKibben. That's going to allow a run out of that black Porsche of David Pinkston. Now, since we're past the halfway point, does anyone choose to come to pit road? Nobody out of the leader pack decides to this time. Oh, wait, never mind. Here comes Jack McKevin in the pit lane. That's going to allow for David Pinkston to inherit the lead. Oh, all over the rear end of Levine is Javen Tucker. Little nudge there off of the final turn. Here they come across the stripe to complete lap number 14. Down in the turn one. Tucker trying to find a way past. Tucker with that mid-race spin. Trying to make a pass. Ooh, Levine overdrove it. That allows Tucker to slip past. Here comes a crossover move from Levine. They're still side by side. Ooh, little slip up by Tucker there. Here they come thundering off of the turn. These guys battling hard, not only for position on the racetrack, but points for the championship. What happens right here between these two could decide who wins a championship in the next couple weeks. Trevor Levine off the racetrack. He's going to lose a lot of time to Javen Tucker now. Tucker now able to track down the leader of David Pinkston. Does anyone choose to come to pit road this time by? Yes, he does. E3, or David Pinkston, the leader, chooses to come pit road. David Tucker's going to stay on the racetrack, though. But David Pinkston and Trevor Levine both come into pit road this time by. So that's going to leave David Tucker. He's going to inherit the lead as he sets the fastest lap of the race. That could, it's going to get him one bonus point.
Ward Wirt is going to choose to stay out on the racetrack again. He's going to move him up to P2. Three cars on pit road right now. David Peason pulls into his pit stall. He's going to get four fresh racing tires. Here comes the 95 of Trevor Levine on pit road as well. Going to get that Porsche serviced. And Colin McKevin is going to make that trek down to his pit box in order to get some four fresh tires on that thing. Here comes David Pinkson. He's going to cycle out. Will Slinky be able to pass him? It looks like he might be able to, if not really, really close. Here they come to race off a of pit road. Slinky able to cycle out just in front of that black Porsche of David Pinkston. Not too much time lost on pit road here. Not You don't have to take that much gas here. Trevor Levine lost a good number of spots on pit road. Not a good pit cycle for him. He's cycled out way back there in P7. So he's got some ground to make up. Here comes the leader, Javen Tucker, on pit lane this time by. Looks like Ward Wharton is going to stay out on the racetrack yet again in that number 22 Caterpillar car. Ward Wharton is going to inherit the lead. He's going to lead this time by. Lap 16, 10 more laps to go here at Laguna Seca. Who can get it done? Here comes the number 99 car into the pit stall. He's going to get four fresh racing tires. Here comes Slinky E3. Jack McKevitt. Ooh, this may... Here comes Javen Tucker out of pit lane. He may have lost a lot of time. Not quite sure. Here he comes. How will it play out? Pinks is going to have a lap older tires. Pinks is able to cycle out in front of him, though. Side by side now for P4. Tucker cycles out right next to the Jack McKevitt machine. And Dante Corrado there is right there with him as well. Three car battle now. Do some contact there between Tucker and McKevitt. Three car battle here from fourth back to sixth. This is going to allow Trevor the bind to gain some time on these guys. Well, off the track goes Jack McKevin. He's going to go way wide. He's going to give up a couple spots there. Ooh, little pass there from Slinky. He's going to slip on past David Pinkston there going to down the corkscrew. This board work is staying out of the racetrack yet again. It looks like he's going to try to stay out as long as he possibly can and try to bank for that fresh tires to get him to the end here. That could definitely help him out here. They come across the strike, the complete lap 17. Slinky slipped up in the P2. Now this could be the race for the lead. Once Ward Wharton decides to pit. Hard racing here for P2. David Pinkson close behind Magic Slinky. And the Team Navy car. Here they come up the hill. Tucker dipping a couple tires off, trying to get the best run he can. These guys slipping and sliding around these corners. These cars don't have the huge amount of grip that we're used to running in some of these grade three cars or grade two cars. Here they come into the course rule. A little not the best entrance by Slinky. That's going to open up the exit for David Pinkston, though. Never mind. He slips up just a touch. Murder work still out on the racetrack. Got a car. Excellent pit road, though. That's the Peter Braxton machine back there in P11. Ooh, a race here side by side. Peter Braxton trying to unlap himself. But we're still the leader. The race is on back here between second, third, and fourth. 
They're starting to close in a little bit. Gavin Morrison, he's going to duck in the pit lane out of the eighth position. Dante Corrado trying to track down that fourth place car of Javen Tucker. And Tucker got an excellent run on David Pinkston that time. I, he really, really wants to build a defensive points gap for next week. So Tucker wants to finish ahead of Pinkston. Because right now, if it finished, then whoever would finish better at Bloomin would win the championship race. Tucker really, really wants to finish ahead of Pinkston. If it came down to a tie between David Pinkston and David Tucker, Pinkston would win the tie since he has more wins. David Pinkston has tracked down Magic Slinky yet again for that P2 spot. But we're still out on the racetrack, doing an excellent job and trying to save those tires on that car. Still about 22 seconds ahead of these guys back here. When will he choose to bring that Caterpillar car to pit lane? It's so interesting to see what his strategy is. Looking for the long run. Ooh, Slinky slips wide. This allows for David Pinkston to go to his outside. Here they come into the hairpin. Here comes David Tucker. He's going to try to make a move again. Here goes the crossover. Can he get a good enough run? David Pinkston, yes, he does. They're side by side as they thunder down the front straightaway. Across the stripe, Slinky is just a nose ahead as they head down to the turn one. David Pinkston with the, uh, the optimized line. Oh, they make a little contact. Slinky gets shoved way out wide. Able to save it. What a save by Magic Slinky. That's going to put him just behind. Javen Tucker. David Pinks is able to slip out in front now. But here comes Javen Tucker. He has gained a lot of time in that choking hazard racing machine. Team CHR had uh, quite an odd uh, post-race meeting last week after two of their drivers tangled in the final chicane at Daytona. But they have worked everything out, and one of them is not here. So you see how that went. But the battle is on. They're going to come up on five laps to go this time by. Board work still out on the racetrack. He's going to have to come to pit road this time by. He is running on fumes. Five more laps to go as Board work brings that Caterpillar skid steer car across the stripe. But the battle is here for the points position. Trevor Levine not quite having the race he wants. He really needs to have a better finish if he wants to stay in the hunt for Blue Moon. A little slip up there out of Pinkston. Tucker trying to gain some time. Pinkston has got the fastest lap at the moment. His fastest lap was last time by with a 125.8. What a fast lap by him. Jamie Tucker was the pre previous fastest holder. If Dave Pinkston can pull off the win tonight and get that fastest lap, he 
would get a maximum points day, which would definitely help him going into the championship race. Pretty much all they would have to do is finish ahead of each other. And Board is going to bring that car to pit road this time by. Where will these other drivers cycle out? Can they pass them on pit road? Can that 22 car have a fast enough pit stop to keep that thing out front? Here they come into the final couple of turns. Now it should shove them out right about where these guys are. Maybe just behind them. Here they come down the front straightaway. Board Wharton heads into his pit stop. He's going to have to get four. No, no tires. No tires on the 22 machine. Just fuel and go. Here he comes. He's going to head back on the racetrack. Oh, Pinkston locks it up going into turn one. That opens up the door. They're side by side for the lead. This is for the points lead here. Pinkston is still able to get a run off. Here comes a crossover move from Tucker as they come down the straightaway. Tucker doors up on the straightaway. Pinkston's going to go off the racetrack. Oh, wow. Championship implications. Some contact there between the two points leaders. Can Pinkston gain that time back on oh, under four laps to go here? There's going to be three laps to go this time by Slinky. He's all over the rear end of E3. What a battle here for the lead. What a race. Tucker has taken the lead. Tucker has been so close so many times to getting a win this season, but has had it stripped away from him in some unfortunate events. Peaks is going to have to be perfect. A little slip up there. Tucker now extending his lead. This is what Tucker needs. Tucker wants to finish ahead. And Tucker has the fastest lap now with a 125.7. What a monstrous lap by him. Slinky good off the racetrack a little bit there too. All these guys racing for spots, racing for points. This is it. Coming to the stripe. Three more laps to go. Tucker is your leader with almost a one and a half second advantage here at Laguna Seca. As they're going to slip past, here they come. David Pinkston needs to finish ahead of that David Tucker machine. Still going to have a good shot, though, if he finishes where he's at now. Here they come up the hill. The final stretch. Who can finish it off? Javon Tucker needs to be flawless here. He's got some of the best chasing of his flankies way off the racetrack into the wall. That's going to give up that third place spot to Dante Corrado. Here comes Corrado slipping and sliding, jumping his way down the hill in P3. Oh, wow. Not a good corkscrew by Javon Tucker. David Pinkston able to knock off a lot of time there. This is the battle for points. This is the battle for the win. Here they come for the final turn. The flagger and the flag stand holding up a pizza sign. Two more laps to go here at Laguna Seca. Tucker able to extend the lead by just a touch down the front straightaway. Pretty good first corner so far. Let's see who can finish it off. Can Tucker get away with the win here today? Slipping and sliding up the hill. Here they go. About a second separates the top two and a second back to Dante Corrado of P3. Tucker just has to be perfect. He has one of the best in his rear view mirror. He is surely feeling that pressure. Pretty good downhill section from David Pinkston, able to get that back down under a second. Going to be one more to go this time around. Tucker doing everything he can to try to hold him off. Tucker running a little low on gas, though. He should have enough to get it back around. Here they come. 
The white flag is out. One more lap to go at Laguna Seca. Can Tucker hold him off? Tucker still searching for his first win of the season. Here they come down at the turn one. This is the battle for points. This is the battle for the win. A second separates the top two. Tucker out front. But there it is. There's the gap. You see David Pinkston closing in. Tucker has to be perfect. He gives up a little bit of time. Pinkston off the racetrack. Just a touch. Trying to get all the speed out of that machine he can. Here they come. Up the hill. To that hard left hand turn up at the top. No mistakes. No more mistakes. Everyone has to be perfect. Everyone trying to catch each other. Here they come. Through the corkscrew one more time. Ooh, not a good corkscrew. Here comes Pinkston down the hill. They made a little contact almost. Here they come. Four ten separates the two in the last couple of turns. Pinks is going to have to make a move. Here they come. Two more turns to go. Now into the final hairpin turn. Will Pinks and try to make a move? Here they come. Who's it going to be? Who can get the best run off off the final turn? It looks like it's going to be Javen Tucker. Javen Tucker wins it in a thriller. And look who wanna say cut. Pinks is going to finish P2. David, well, here comes, looks like Dante Corrado slides across the line at P3. Man, it's leaky P4. Trevor Levine, P5. Looks like P6 is going to be Bored Wharton, who never ever changed tires. Uh, P7 will be Jack McKevitt. But man, what a race and what a finish. What a win for Javen Tucker. This is what he needed. First one in the points pan season. And not, this is definitely one of the best times that he could have gotten it at. Here comes Colin McKibben around. Looks like he's going to finish P8. And it looks like Gavin Morrison and Isaiah Smith will finish 9th and 10th. But your winner here tonight, Javen Tucker, able to get it done at the number 99 for Sheen. And to send his points lead after holding off his the second place driver in points. Let's take a look at the leader. Let's see if we can dial up the driver of the number 99. Javen Tucker finally able to get it done here at Laguna Seca. Man, how was that race and how are you able to hold off Pinkston? It's about time I was able to make one of these comebacks happen. The last three races I've had, I felt like I've had to do it. I'm sorry for hitting E3. I wasn't trying to. But how did the car feel and how was the race? Uh, it, it felt interesting. You know, the race was fun, though. Well, congratulations on the first one of the season. That's going to definitely give you some momentum heading into the finale. To pass out. And let's talk to the P2 finisher as we take a look at uh, Javen Tucker celebrating there in victory lane. Let's dial up David Pinkston here. Uh, what's up, David? You finished P2, man. Just fell short. Uh, excellent battle between you and Tucker, though. How does it feel? Uh, just slipped, lost a couple points heading into the championship, but you still got a good chance going into the blue moon, so how's it feeling? I had it, and then I didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how it goes a lot of times, but um, how you feeling about your momentum going into the championship race? Do you think you got a shot at it? I think I got a good chance for Blue Moon, or is it a BB Raceway? Uh, Blue Moon will be the championship. I got a good chance there, Phil. So, uh, congratulations on that uh, P2 finish. Looking forward to what you can see in the championship race. All right. And let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look at the... We will not dial up the third place finisher because it does not have a mic or not allow his voice to be shared. But let's take a look at the final results from here tonight. Javen Tucker fends up his first win of the points-paying season this year. And he's going to get fast lap as well. 
So he's going to get that extra bonus point, which is definitely going to help him out, extend his lead a little bit. Dave Pinkston is going to finish P2. P3 will be Dante Corrado after an excellent drive coming all the way from P last. P4 will be Slinky picking up his first top five of the season. P5 will be Trevor Levine, another top five here at Laguna Seca, his best track. Uh, P6 will be Board Wharton. P7 will be Jack McKevitt. P8 will be... Uh, Colin McKevitt, P9 will be Gavin Morrison, P10 will be driver of the day Isaiah Smith, and P11 will be Peter Braxton. What a race here tonight at Laguna Seca. Thank you all for joining us, and you don't want to miss the next two weeks. We got the all-star race where these drivers will be going up for a monetary prize with the Sylvia's at BB Raceway, and it'll be an excellent shootout here because out there because only the winner goes home with the cash. And then the next two week, two to three weeks, we will have the championship race for the champion series at Blue Moon Bay, where a champion will be decided. Three drivers will still have a shot. Who will it be? Will it be Tucker? Will it be Pinkston, who's close behind? Or will it be the long shot driver of Trevor Levine? Can miracles happen? Can Tucker finish off an excellently consistent season? Stay tuned and get ready to watch this one play out. Thank you for joining yet again. We hope to see you all next week for some great GTO racing. Congratulations to tonight's winner, Javen Tucker. See you all next time. Have a great evening.